Introduction. Welcome to the course. Hi, welcome to the course. In this course we're going on a journey into creating immersive experiences for people visiting your websites. To work along with the examples you'll need a minimum of a medium priced Android mobile phone. The cheapest phones don't support the WebXR API and at the time of recording WebXR does not work in any iOS browser. If you don't have an Android phone then I'll show you how to get some examples working on an iOS device via Mozilla's iOS viewer app and how to use the WebXR emulator to use a desktop browser as your development device. If you do have a suitable phone then I recommend getting hold of a Google Cardboard device for the VR examples. Google Cardboard is a very cheap container for your mobile phone with a couple of lenses. For next to nothing it converts your mobile phone into a cheap VR headset. Obviously a real VR headset will give you a better experience. The WebXR API needs the web page that launches it to be delivered by HTTPS so you'll need to be uploading your content to a secure site. If you haven't got a secure server to use as a development site then I recommend using GitHub Pages a free way to create a secure development website. Then use a Git client such as GitHub Desktop to upload your development work to the remote site. Full details in the article following this video. In the course I'm going to be using brackets as my code editor. It's available free and I sync the local edits I make to the remote server using the extension SFTP upload. If you decide to use GitHub Pages then you would use a git client and the push option to sync changes you make locally to the remote site. Go ahead and use the editor of your choice and whichever deployment option you prefer. The course is split into 10 sections. In section 1 I introduce the history of WebXR, give you a basic primer for those of you new to 3D concepts and show you the 3GS website and the WebXR examples. Section 2 is for 3GS novices to bring you up to speed on the library. Section 3 we look in earnest at your development environment and create our first WebXR examples. Most things you create for immersive experiences will need complex assets and sourcing, editing, loading and working with them is the subject of Section 4. Section 5 gives a review of the WebXR API. Then, in section 6, we start to create real-world examples of immersive content with an architectural walkthrough. WebXR lends itself to showing real products in a person's home and that's the topic for section 7. VR is perfect for games and we look at the basic ingredients of a game using WebXR in section 8. Section 9 covers the important topic of using VR for training. And finally in section 10 we look at some WebXR examples to inspire you and review what you've learnt. This video is from my Udemy course Learn to Create WebXR VR and AR Experiences with 3GS. Get the full course at a great discount by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.